Hello, my name is Jocelyn. I'm the Research and Documentation Assistant at the Maritime Museum in Hull. I'm going to be talking about the Inuit model igloo. This is a miniature model of an igloo and its inhabitants made of whalebone, so the colour is a creamy off-white. The top of the igloo is hinged and lifts off, allowing us to see inside the igloo to the many figures that live in it. The figures as a whole represent a family unit, able to be placed in different relationships and moved around the model. The igloo itself is a perfect replica of a real igloo or snow house. It has a curved entrance porch or storage area, which would protect the main space of the igloo from the elements. In a real igloo, the small space in the main dome would be covered with a thin piece of ice or animal skin to allow light to enter. There was also a raised sleeping platform that would have been covered in fur. In most Inuit languages, igloo simply means house, home or building. It is only outside of Inuit culture that igloo refers to a building made of compressed snow. Inked onto the bottom of the model igloo is the information that the igloo and its inhabitants were carved in Coronation Inlet, Hudson Bay, in Canada. It is likely that the model came to Hull because of the whaling trade. We don't know why the igloo was made, and we don't know how it came to be in the museum. Were the igloo and its inhabitants made as toys, as symbols of home, or as a, trink as a trinket made for trade with whalers? I chose the subject because to me it represents the relationship between the Inuit and the whaler. Contact with Europeans through whaling led to an irreversible change in Inuit society. A lot of culture that existed pre-contact is now gone. For example, living a nomadic life in igloos is now a thing of the past.